All right, here we are. Ho, 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 my God. I cannot believe it is the 35th episode of The Chrysalis. My name is Rebecca Hart. This is a weekly quarantine show that I never imagined I would be doing 35 times, but I am so happy to be here with you today and always. Um, if you've never watched it before, I, in the before times, uh, was an actress and a singer-songwriter with band um, and other things. And um, in these times, I do a show every week that's uh, a variety of songs, some covers, some originals, some texts, some whatever around a theme. And I'm so excited that this Sunday falls the night before the winter solstice um, so I can do a, a holiday-themed show all about the Yule. Um, I, this is the part of the show also, I should say, that I just sit and run my mouth for a few minutes while the audience comes in. Um, which means nothing because I don't believe these numbers up at the top of the screen and I can't see any of you. And um, if you can't tell by now that this is my 35th week of talking to myself, um, let me tell you that it is. And also, if you think that I don't walk around my apartment saying 10 minutes, please, uh, you would be wrong. Hi, John. Um, so yeah, so this is legit my favorite time of year. Um, there's a lot going on for me. I owe allegiance, as I like to say, by ancestry and tradition to a lot of different lineages. For example, here's one. There's a lot of props today. Um, celebrate Christmas, because my dad's family was Irish Catholic. Celebrate Hanukkah, because my mom's family celebrates Hanukkah. And I celebrate the holiday that came before them and is still with us. Yule, this is the sun. It's just very rusty. Um, which is a celebration of the rebirth of the sun in the dark time of the year, celebration of light, which in fact all of these holidays are. Um, and I also like to celebrate some other traditions, and one of those is telling you that if my connection goes out, I will just tape this and put it up. There, I've said it. Um, I am a superstitious person. I actually do have a Christmas tree, and I was going to film in front of it, and then I was like, don't change anything. Like, just don't change anything. If, you know, they say, if it ain't broke, obsess about it, and that's what I do. Um, and another tradition that I have, um, is to buy people things for Christmas that I have already bought them or that they already own. Um, and so this is a book that I was going to give to my niece and nephew um, and all, they already have it, um, I think, because of me. Um, so also, if you're just watching for the first time, feel free to introduce yourself in the chat. Tell me how you're spending your Yule, your winter solstice. I really want to know. If I don't read it during this because I haven't mastered that back and forth, I will later. Anyway, this poem I wanted to start with, it's called The Shortest Day, and it was made into this cool children's book. And I'm going to read it to you because it's story time around the fire. Um, and, you know, Celia and Oscar, if you're watching later, you can just follow along if you own this book, which you do because I already bought it. Anywho. This is also a poem that starts every year of a big, like, Ren Fair style Christmas celebration in Boston called the Christmas Revels, which I went to once. Um, and at the end, everybody says, welcome Yule together. So this show is starting with some audience participation. And I'm going to say over to you, and then you'll say that, and I will hear you in my mind. So the shortest day came, and the year died. And everywhere... Down the centuries of the snow-white world came people singing, dancing, to drive the dark away. They lighted candles in the winter trees. They hung their homes with evergreen. They burned beseeching fires all night long to keep the year alive. And when the New Year's sunshine blazed awake, they shouted, reveling. Through all the frosty ages, you can hear them echoing behind us. Listen. All the long echoes sing the same delight this shortest day. As promise wakens in the sleeping land, they carol, feast, give thanks, and dearly love their friends and hope for peace. And so do we here, now, this year, and every year, Welcome Yule! Oh my god, good job. That was loud. I could feel it. Um, why don't I just play some songs? By the way, again, also, if you are just joining, um, every week I do a collection of songs, originals, and covers on the theme. Um, there's a, it's going to be a mix of highbrow and lowbrow today and, and middlebrow and uh, whatever those terms mean. And so if I'm doing something that you're like, I'm not really feeling this, just go get a drink and come back because it's going to change in five minutes. Um, Welcome, everybody. I'm so happy to be here with you. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to open with a song of mine that I wrote 
in March, I think, at the beginning of all of this, um, when it was still kind of cold and when I was feeling like I wanted to write a song about hope. Um, and it really came out sounding like maybe it was uh, the voice of whatever I consider to be my higher power talking. And I was like, gosh, that sounds a little religious, but I'm gonna keep it. Um, this also has some participation at the end. If it gets really bad, I will just turn this off and record it. And that is what I like to say. Anyway. Leave a little space for us to fill. We must go now. We must go now. If we ever Say to the cannonball. Rise, my lord and lady, from your bed. The night has flown, the night has flown, and the king is dead. Long live us all. Wake the little children from. My way is long, my way is long And my love is deep, you can have it all That's the thing that we say to the cannonball Here's the part we sing together Thank you for singing with me. Um, hi, yes, Scott, basically this show is Rebirth Revels. Um, I'm just calling it Winter Solstice, but that's what that means. Um, Merry Christmas to you, Marta, Merry Christmas. I'm glad you all have Hanukkah, even though it's over. Um, this is a song that is, has become a very important traditional Christmas carol, um, especially in Ireland. And there was kind of a big to-do this week, because if you guys didn't know, um, Mr. John Bondovi recorded a version of this song and changed some of the words. There is a very problematic verse that it's just easy to skip this one word. Don't mess with the whole thing. He wrote like a new verse that has the word squirrel in it. And it's just so like, anyway, this is not the last time or the first time I will apologize to Ireland for New Jersey. Um, so I'm doing it. Anyway, but usually speaking of traditions, I do this song with my friend Mr. Johnny Porpie in a duet, which is why it's really hard to sing by myself, but I'm going to try it. Here's a picture of us singing the song. An audience member who liked it drew the picture us and wrote I built my dreams around you on it which is a lyric from the song anyway um, feel free to sing it if you know it it goes like this it was Christmas Eve babe in the tank next to me you won't see another one and then he sang a song the rare old mountain dew I turned my face away and dreamed about you. Got on a lucky one. I miss you too, Kristen. It came in 18 to 1. And I've got a feeling this year's for me and you. So happy Christmas.
come true. They've got cars, big as bars, they've got rivers of gold. But the wind goes right through you, it's no place for the old. When you first took my hand on the cold Christmas Eve, you promised me Broadway was waiting for me. You are handsome, you are pretty, queen of New York City. When the band finished playing, they howled out for more. Sinatra was swinging, all the drunks they were singing. We kissed on the corner, then danced through the night. And the boys in the NYPD choir were singing, go away, babe. And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day. Punk. You're an owl slut on junk, lying there almost dead on that trip in that bed. You scumbag, you maggot, you cheap lousy, it was the 80s, happy Christmas, your ass, I pray God it's our last. And the boys in the NYPD choir were singing, go away bay, and the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day. I could have been someone. Well, so could anyone You took my dreams from me When I first found you I kept them with me, babe And I put them with my own I can't make it all alone I've built my dreams around Pogues and Kirsten McCall, famous, famous Christmas carol um, that does not need to be messed with by John Bon Jovi. Thank you for listening. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do, um, this is the part where I'm like, how's it going, guys? Is it glitching? Can you hear me? And then like, who even knows? Because by the time you tell me, it's 10 minutes later, and I'm just going to go on faith because that is the time of year that it is. I'm happy you're here with me. Um, I'm going to switch gears now, and I'm going to do, um, I think, what the kids call a mashup. Um, I'm going to put two poems together that have to do with the season. One is a poem by a Canadian man named Archibald Lampman, which is his name and also is fun to say and is his name. Um, and he wrote it in, I think, 1898. This could be wrong. It's called Snow. And the great Lorena McKennett set it to music. And I'm going to sing her version. She already cuts the poem down and I'm going to cut it even more. Um, and I'm going to mash it up with another famous poem that you will know when you hear it. And I hope you like it. And here's how it goes. White are the far off plains And white the fading forest grows The wind dies out along the height And denser still the snow A gathering weight Falls down, scares audibly. Meadows and far sheeted streams lie still without a sound, like some soft minister of dreams. The snowfall hoods me around. And water, earth, and air A silence is everywhere Whose woods these are, I think I know His house is in the village though Oh my god, there goes my sign I'll Try that again Whose woods these are, I think I know his house is in the village, though. 
He will not mind me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake the coldest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sound is the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The evening deepens and the grave folds closer the earth and sky the world seems shrouded so far away its noises sleep and I as secret as yon buried stream plod dumbly on Are lovely, dark, and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. All right, lest we all take ourselves too seriously, that was my tip jar sign. <laughs> it said on it that the tip jar is Venmo. Uh, Rebecca-Hart-5. You can also uh, tip over PayPal, which is Rebecca at RebeccaHart.net, or Ko-Fi, K-O-F-I.com slash Rebecca Hart. You can give me three bucks for a cup of coffee, whatever. I hope um, this connection is working out because I'm really enjoying this show. If you're just tuning in, my name is Rebecca Hart. This is The Chrysalis, a weekly quarantine live stream, um, number 35, The Winter's Solstice. Um, switching gears again, uh, this song... The show is always over too fast. I'm doing a couple more songs though. This song is for everybody who, let's just admit it, this is a weird Christmas, Yule, Hanukkah, whatever it is. And this is for anybody who can't be um, where they thought they might be. For whom the Yule does not look like they thought it was going to look. Um, I give you Ariana Grande. It ain't even cold outside, not where I'm from. Feeling like it's mid-July under the sun My jacket don't get no love, no hats and no gloves and Not even a chance to rain But my baby's in town and we're gonna do some winter things Hey, oh, I wanna pretend we're at the North Pole Turning the heat into an ice cold holiday skating rink downtown even though it's a hundred degrees gotta get out there ain't no ice and no chills no snowmen to build most of my friends at the beach but my baby's in town and we're gonna do some winter things hey oh, I wanna pretend we're at the North Pole Turning the heat into an ice cold holiday made just for me and my baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, my baby's in town and we're gonna do some winter things. Just imagine that we're laughing in the cabin, chilling by the fireside. Even though the sun is blasting, we can be wherever if we visualize. Hey, oh, I wanna pretend we're at the North Pole, turning the heat into an ice cold holiday night just for me and my baby.
Yes, Greg, the tip sign tipped. That is a good one. David Ross, I guess it's back over to you to communicate to the people that the tip jar is Venmo Rebecca dash heart dash five. Hi, Jean Michelle, I hope that is true and that you are watching. It's so nice to see you. Oh my gosh, welcome you all, everybody. This is the 35th episode of a weekly live stream and I hope that you come back. Um, I will post it later, but you know, live is live. So uh, this is a song that I tried to stop myself from doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And um, uh, my whole family does a secret Santa every year. I don't know if yours does. And um, every year I go through this like complete um, existential collapse about whether or not I should write what I want on my wish list or just let them get whatever or did I ask for too much or whatever. And I guess this is dedicated to my secret Santa um, because you know, I could be this person. Um, anywho, how does this song go again? Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. I've been an awful good girl, Santa baby. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa baby, a 54 convertible to light. I've been an angel all year, Santa baby, hurry down the chimney tonight. Think of all the fun I missed, think about the fellas that I didn't kiss. Next year could be just as good if you check off my Christmas list. Santa baby, I want a yacht and really that's not a lot. Oh, I've been an awful good girl, Santa baby. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Come and trim my Christmas tree with some decorations bought at Tiffany's. I really do. Thank you very much. Hi, Lorna. Hi, John. Oh my gosh. Safety flares are always in demand for Secret Santa. I don't know what that means. I'm going to I'm gonna know what it means as soon as the show is over and I'm like, oh yeah. I have no joke um, this week also. There's usually a joke of the week. Um, maybe I just felt like too sacred about the old. Um, so I'm uh, coming up on two more songs and I just want to say thank you for being here with me. My name is Rebecca Hart. RebeccaHart.net is where you sign up on the mailing list to get any fancy announcements or, or my weekly musings. Um, and these are the gigs, people, during quarantine. Um, I am excited to play this song for you because I do it every year. It is my favorite Christmas carol. Um, I don't know who wrote it. Um, that one, by the way, was a tribute to Eartha Kitt, who I don't think wrote Santa Baby, but come on, she's, she's that song. Um, I'm conscious of saying who the songs are by this week because last week someone was like, my friend uh, watched part of your set and she wanted to know, like, did you write those songs? And I was like, well, what did she hear? And she was like, the first one, and I was like, the first one was Stacy's mom <laughs> from the 90s, and I did not write that song. Um, and I didn't write the song either, and I don't know who did. And um, it's a beautiful song called uh, Sometimes in Praise of Christmas, Sometimes to Drive the Cold Winter Away. And another thing I wanted to say about the Yule is I tend to not think of it so much as driving back the dark, because we need the dark. We need the dark and the cold. Um, you know, global warming, not a great thing. Um, but we have a lot of it in the dark time of the year. And I think of it more as like, the Yule is about bringing ourselves back into balance. It just makes sense. You know, if it's cold and dark out, you wanna light candles and a fire and eat warming things and do literally heartwarming stuff. In June, if I'm still doing this, or at my live show, I will talk about the summer solstice and how during a hot time of the year, um, the dark half of the year begins. It just makes sense. It's hot, we eat ice cream, we go inside. Oh my God, Chris is telling a Christmas joke. Did you know the Christmas alphabet is missing a letter? Okay, don't, well, write it and then I'll just announce it at the end. Everyone else will get the joke before me. Anyway, this is my favorite carol. And now 
that I've talked, I've forgotten how it goes. Oh, hail. Wait, what is it? Yeah, seven, right? Thank you for listening to this. My name is Rebecca Hart. This has been the Chrysalis number 35. Welcome Yule, winter solstice. It will be posted up here um, indefinitely, probably, and I will put it up on Instagram. Um, also, one last time, the tip jar is Venmo, Rebecca-Hart-5, or PayPal, Rebecca at RebeccaHart.net, or, you know, uh, slide some cash under my doors, I like to say. I'm gonna close out with what has become another tradition in my life. I'm a little sad because usually I do this again with the great Johnny Pork Pie. We wrote this together. It is a comedy song um, for all of us who share a mixed heritage and kind of both don't know what to do at this time of, of year and know that we must do all the things um, because that is how we were raised. But of course, Johnny is not here this year. He and I write comedy songs together, which makes me very happy. He doesn't watch this show, which makes me very unhappy. And I'm just gonna trash talk him here for a second. And I asked him many times to figure out a way to do this on the show with me and it isn't happening. So, doing it myself. And this is a song called Mixed Up Holidays and it is for all of us half and halves. Here we go. You like peanut butter and jelly. You like mac and cheese. If I said ice cream, soda, you'd say, Yes, please. You like black and white cookies. You like treats and tricks. So who wouldn't want all their holidays mixed? The best things in life are both stirred and shaken. Why would I not have bacon if I could have bacon half and half? The laughs we're ethnically pure And just like the bisexuals, we go both ways on our mixed up holidays. I'm half a Jew and she's half a shiksa, but we weren't confirmed and we weren't bought mitzvah. The star of David's on our Christmas tree. And all our candles are both red and green. On the menorah, dreidel, 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 I made it out of play. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open hora. What? It's not quite a mitzvah, but I'm not quite a sinner when I eat my latke. 
yours with ham It's disgusting, I just like to mix it up Oh, don't try to fix it up Cause baby, that's how we am There's a lot more presents and the food is all sensational The holidays are better when you're bi-denominational Half and half, twice the laughs We're ethnically pure. a big rap all about the holidays and I don't know it so anyway don't try to wrap us in that same old paper think outside the box cuz I just like to mix it up oh don't try to fix it up cuz baby that's why we rock I have a proclivity for mixed up activity my Christmas Eve is full of Jews but so is the nativity half and half twice the laughs we're ethnically Have just done the whole rap. I chickened out. Chris, what was the joke? Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna find out. I'm scrolling. I'm ruining the end of my show. Um, never mind. I'll find out after. Welcome you all. Happy to see all of you. See you next week on whatever that theme.